to GTV. Today I will be showing you how to select a resistor. There are three steps to pick out the appropriate resistor for your application. The first step is to determine the resistance or the watts needed to be dissipated. The second step will be to determine the watt size. This is also the physical size of the resistor. The third step would be to choose the kind of unit. To determine the resistance or watts, you will need to use Ohm's Law. Knowing the voltage and current is necessary for determining the resistance. The resistance is the voltage divided by the current. To calculate the watts, I can multiply the voltage and current together. The watts is also the current squared multiplied by the resistance or the voltage squared divided by the resistance. Next, I will need to determine the size of the resistor. This helps determine heat dissipation as the greater the resistance area per watt to be dissipated, the greater the heat loss rate, which means a lower temperature rise. I will need to look at the possible factors. Here I have a shortcut provided by Ohmite. As you can see, the factors are dependent on the application conditions. This can include the ambient temperature, enclosure, grouping of parts, altitude, pulse operation, cooling air, and limited temperature rise. After following this chart and using the factors provided, I can multiply this with my watts to get my watt size. For example, I will plug in the numbers assuming I have four resistors dissipating 50 watts each mounted in a group with two inch spacing and totally enclosed with an ambient temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. I will put in the 50 here and then look at the ambient temperature and see that 50 equals 1.1 and put in that value below. Since it is totally enclosed, I will put in a two for the enclosure and then look at grouping and put in a 1.2 for two inch spacing. The rest are standard, so I will put in a 1 for all of these. I will multiply the factors first to get 2.64, and then multiply this with the 50 to get 132. 132 is my watt size. Now I can choose a resistor with these factors by type. This includes mounting options such as bracket, panel, or PC mount. It may also include the terminal type as well as the material used. Many standard resistors should suffice unless there are special requirements regarding the material needed. The last thing to remember is the tolerance. Oftentimes a resistor will have a tolerance of plus or minus 0.1 to 20%. These percentages can be found on Galco specifications tab on the product page. This will create a resistance range and should be considered when selecting a resistor. Resistors along with thousands of other products and services are available at Gelco.com.